Hey guys, this is going to be part one of the 179cc to 208cc big bore LCT engine project we got going to. This is going to be a two part series. Now this is the first part. Part two might be a little bit longer than this one, but uh, you guys recognize this engine. This is the 179, 179cc LCT is a 4995 engine. Now these were taken removed from uh, the best I can I know of the Husqvarna snow blowers, and uh, I purchased this at uh, Surplus Center, and this is one of several. Uh, I think this is a really good deal on these engines. So, uh, also for this one, I've got a 70 millimeter 208 cc LCT block. Now I purchased this one on uh, the Bay Place for 20 bucks, and uh, normally, you know, the, there's not a lot of demand for these blocks because uh, the LCT has that really large diameter camshaft, and unless you have the camshaft, the block's no good to you. A regular, uh, like a Predator cam or a Honda clone or Honda cam will not fit. But uh, First of all, let's get this 4995 engine apart here. And let's see if this crank is going to fit into the 208 cc block. Now the crankshaft is gonna be a 54 millimeter stroke in this. So 54 millimeter stroke crank with a 70 millimeter bore. That should put us up to around 208 cc. Some, some say, some engines listed as 210 cc's, but I just go ahead and go with 208 and uh, you know if you got the 55 millimeter stroke crank uh, then you'll have 212 oh yeah this flywheels on there. <laughs> and it does have some balance marks on it too you know that's points for the little LCT engine and I'm not really, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not really torn one of these down to do a secret truth video on any of these because, you know, these are $49.95 and not too many people seem to be interested in the 179cc engine. But, uh, you know, from the, the one I was in when we did the, the Killer Tiller engine prep, I really like them. I, I think uh, this is a, a really good option, uh, economically speaking, that is. And uh, especially, you know, now I paid uh, for my block, the, the 70 millimeter bore LCT block, I paid 20 bucks for mine. Plus, you know, I think a little shipping. Uh, but uh, I don't know if you'll be able to find one after this comes out or not, because um, you know how it goes, guys. Uh, what if... Uh, People can find out you can take a $49.95 engine and then add on 20 bucks and a piston and, and have a 208. You know, they're probably gonna, <laughs> they're probably going to do that. Uh, I know I, I am. And uh, this flywheel, uh, yeah, you guys know how it goes. I kind of, uh, I may have loosened this a little off camera. <laughs> yeah, I know. But uh, anyway, so yeah, I might loosen that a little bit off camera, but the idea is, you know, you screw the nut on there and put a little tension behind the flywheel and then pop it and then it, it break it loose from the taper and it comes right off. Now, another thing I'm going to do for this, uh, this economy budget, big bore build, whatever you want to call this thing, is I'm going to add one of these uh, little $39.95 uh, aluminum flywheels now this is cast but it's rated to 8500 rpm which is more than enough uh, for what i'll be doing with this but you know depending on where you find these some places you might find them for 39.95 and some places you know if you look on the bay place i think they jumped up to 59.95 uh after uh, we revealed the ghost had the two the ghost had the cast iron flywheel <laughs> so you know they had, a, I guess it's supply and demand, you know, if you've got a market for something, uh, it, it's going to go up. 
But uh, one thing I want to check, and I can't really check it really well with this key in there, so I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, little half moon key out of there. And I want to check and see. Now, this is the flywheel fits a Honda or Honda clone taper. And I want to see if it fits the taper on this crankshaft. And that feels good. Yeah. I think, yeah. Let me check, see how much threads I've got. Oh, yeah. This is good. Yeah. A Honda clone taper will fit. Uh, these LCT engine crankshafts, guys. So just, uh, I'll put this stuff down in the description. You don't, you don't gotta write it down or anything. But uh, yeah, that's that's good news. I was kind of worried about that because uh, uh, after we go with uh, the big bore and uh, you know, unfortunately, I'm gonna stick with the stock camshaft in this because it's an oddball size. If you remember. Uh, when we were doing the, the killer tiller video, we found that the camshafts instead of a 549 uh, on the like a clone cam would be or a Honda cam. This one was like 569 thousandths diameter, and so that's even uh, about 10 thousandths larger than a Predator uh, non Hemi cam. So yeah, a 212 non Hemi cam. That is. So yeah. Uh, there's not a lot of cam options for these and um, then you can um, put a bushing in your block and uh, you could probably use a like a clone side cover on this if you bush the block to where you could run a 549 thousandths camshaft in there but you know that's that's going to require some machine machine shop work and that's got a torch plug great <laughs> well, I, I think I already knew that though. But uh, if you put a bushing in that uh, cam bore, uh, you can reduce the size and, and then run a smaller diameter camshaft like a regular 549 thousandths camshaft. But since that's going to require a trip to the machine shop, I'm not going to be doing that this time because the average person is not going to be able to bush that block and side cover. But you know. If you had a clone side cover laying around that fits your uh, your camshaft, that part would be taken care of. But that block, yeah, there's no way to get around that. It would have to have a bushing in order to run any other cam than the stock. Um, and this, this carburetor, this is another thing that's gonna go. Uh, these carburetors on these engines, I think uh, maybe the 179 cc may be the same carburetor as on the, the 79 and the 99 cc's i'm not certain so don't quote me on that i'm i'm not certain because i don't have one here handy to compare but uh, i'll show you in a minute when i get this thing off the uh, venturi bore on this carb is very small very small and you guys remember how to do that just lift the linkage up and take the spring out and if I can get it around where you can see, <laughs> you can see the difference between the where the butterfly is at on the throttle bore and that venturi down in there. It's very small. Um, I, I don't think uh, there's much hope for any performance out of this carburetor. But now, uh, some of you guys with the the 79 cc's, you know, if you check your bore on them, it, if it's larger, it may fit. And I've got a bunch of these. <laughs> but uh, I noticed the uh, the carburetor spacer, that phenolic spacer, it's also got a really small hole. So, uh, you know, the, the last one we did, uh, we opened up for the Killer Tiller. It had the uh, the 210 cc head with the, the 27, the 25 millimeter valves. Now, you guys see me taking this governor stuff off. I'm going to save every bit of that because I might put it on something else later. Don't throw nothing away. But, uh, yeah, I'm kind of anxious to see uh, if this one's got the same cylinder head as the last one or not. Uh, when we were working on that killer tiller, now I was fully expecting to have a 25 millimeter intake 
and a 24 millimeter exhaust. And as it turned out, it had a 27 millimeter intake and a 25 millimeter exhaust. So I was just floored. And, uh, you know, it's another, another uh, plus for these little 4995 uh, engines and I, I think these are probably the cheapest engines on the internet which you know you're gonna they're gonna get you for about thirty dollars shipping or so but uh, you know unless you can go to uh, their their main store at, in uh, let's see where I think it's Lincoln Nebraska maybe but the uh, surplus center they're in Nebraska if you guys are in Nebraska anybody that you could drive by and maybe pick up a couple of these things and don't have to pay the shipping oh dude you would be uh set uh but as it is you know uh even at 49.95 you, you pay 30 dollars shipping well that's 79.95 so well, that's not too bad when you think about it uh, is the engine is well worth that i mean um and these things are smooth too uh They've got a good balance to them. That's one thing I was uh, kind of a little worried about with this because when I changed that piston over to a uh, 70 millimeter, you're going to be adding some weight on the end of that piston. The 70, oh boy. Yeah, this thing has got corroded head bolts just like the other one. I don't know if that white stuff is some kind of sealer they put on there or what but it didn't seem to do a very good a job it may be an acidic or something but uh, it kind of crusted up the bolts a little bit it's got another thin head gasket I bet it's 12,000th shim like that other one and this one's got the same thick heavy-duty push rods so that's good yeah same head 27 intake 25 millimeter exhaust and you know the combustion chambers, you know, I, I don't know. You know they're, they're around 20 or so. Now, I'll put some better light on here. Hopefully, you guys can see down in the ports. This one, this one's not as bad as the other one was. Matter of fact, this one's probably close to the, uh, uh, still can't get it up there where you can see down the exhaust. Uh, this one's probably close to the 224 Predator ports there. That's a, that's a lot better head than the first one had on it. Yeah, but check out these bolts. I think maybe they use some sort of white sealer on this. And it must be acidic because it's got some uh, patches of rust on these head bolts. But, you know, they'll clean up. And if, if not, I might, might use one from uh, Hang Custom Garage sent me that care package. It's got some, got some looks like some brand new head bolts in it. So I might use, them in the, use those in this one. Okay, I'll put these in my little small parts bag so I don't lose them. Beautiful little piston in there. I, you know, I, I was just really impressed and have been really impressed with all the features on these little LCT engines. Um... The fact that it had the, the, the head from the 210cc engine with the big, big, well, I won't say big house, but, you know, they're, they're, they're larger than a lot of them are anyway. But uh, that, that really, I was floored, uh, shocked. And uh, all the bolts have been reasonably torqued. Now, those head bolts were torqued pretty good. I had to break them off camera. And uh, I use the impact wrench to remove them the rest of the way. And you guys know this story. Just a little tap, tap, tap there. And give it a few love taps with a wooden handle. Got one handy. And I'm using a screwdriver to uh, get these gaskets loose, uh, you'll notice. They really stuck. They, they're really stuck. They used a, uh, a gasket set that's got those little trails of sealer on them, and they really stick. So there's not much chance on saving the gaskets on these. They, they, come, they come all to pieces. And here's my plastic cam. You know, we already knew this. Um, 
And I'll tell you what, you know, if this had a clone diameter camshaft, I would have been tickled to death. And I actually, you know, I'm well satisfied with the engine as it is. But uh, this thing actually had a little oil in it, too. Um, now, I've never started this engine. This one just came right out of the box and right on the table. So uh, maybe, uh, you know... They had, had oil in them from uh, the factory. I, I don't know when they were on the snowblower. But uh, it doesn't appear that to be that it's been ran or anything. So, But it does have some oil. It had, had a little oil inside. But this camshaft, being a uh, oddball size, is the only thing about these engines that's uh, less than optimum and you know not saying you couldn't uh, grind your own camshaft uh, for this uh, I'm certain uh, if you wanted to go with a performance cam uh, you could contact uh, dyno cams or, or some of the I think PC cams is still grinding uh, you could contact them and they would probably uh, work something out for you and, and grind you a uh, a cam that with a larger diameter you know it may not it may may cost you a little extra yeah but uh you know it's if that's the way you want to go sometimes <laughs> speed costs money remember guys and these head these uh rod bolts connecting rod bolts these are super i love these and it says something on the end i'm going to try to get it up here where the camera can't see. Does that say 10 or what? I can't read that. 10.9 or something? I don't know. But uh, they're great looking rod bolts. And, you know, you heard the way these popped. They were torqued good. Let's see. Get this piston up out of here. Come on. Takes me a minute, guys, because I've got the camera up here to where you guys can see. <laughs> a little difficult for me to see sometimes. Good looking little piston. Marsh rod. Good looking little piston. 65 right on it. Well, I, I won't mistake this for something else. Very nice looking. Uh, wrist pin retainer clip there. That, that's very nice. Uh, has the little uh, little uh, part sticking down where you can put a uh, set of uh, pliers or something on there. And I'm just using bent needle nose to squeeze them together and pull the clip out. But uh, that's much better, much better than uh, those little circle clips that you got to dig out with a uh, a pick. And this wrist pin felt good. It had good clearance in there. Uh, it came out easily. Now, I did not measure this on the other engine we did, but it's 709 thousandths. So that's standard uh, clone size there. Now, on some of the, some of the engines, uh, like on the Predators, they'll have like a 700 and uh, uh, 716 thousandths wrist pin so you know I'm gonna be that's not gonna be an option for me to use one of those pistons with this pin and rod if I choose to this crankshaft looks great it it says it's advertised as a forged crank and it certainly is they've done a fine job on this crankshaft and uh, to me uh, that crankshaft right there even though it's 54 millimeter stroke uh, that was for 50 bucks to me now, this is the difference, and it's pretty obvious here. The 70 millimeter blocks on the right, uh, you can see with the bare naked eye uh, that this thing has got a much bigger bore. Now, five millimeters is a bunch. <laughs> it's a bunch. When you go from 65 millimeter to 70 millimeter, uh, the only thing is, 
I'm going to have to weigh this piston up here, and I don't have the scale out here with me right at the moment, but... Oh, look at that. Yeah, it just falls down in there. And, uh, yeah, that's a good way to break a ring. Don't do that. <laughs> but, uh, large, large difference in the bore. And that's what's going to take us from 179 cc's up to 208 cc's. And I will save this block because there's nothing wrong with this block. Uh, after all, we do have a brand new piston and a brand new set of rings with it. I could put something else together with that small block. Would be fine. But, uh, yeah, this one cost me 20 bucks. And I don't know if you're going to be able to find them for that now or not. Uh, but, you know, I, I wouldn't wait too long to look after you watch this video, guys, if, you, if you'd be interested in finding one of those 208 LCT engine blocks. And, you know, you could find the engines on the Bay Place. Uh, you could find, uh, you know, I saw some blown engines on the Bay Place. As long as it didn't, didn't have a hole in the block, uh, you know, <laughs> you would be golden. Uh, you could use uh, your crankshaft and stuff in that 70 millimeter block. And once again, I'll run this through the camera. Now I've added some more light here, guys, so you guys can see better. But uh, yeah, it's around, this one's about 568 thousandths. And it does fit this block. That's what I was concerned with. If the hole was too small in the block, it wouldn't fit. But uh, it does. So we're good to go. We do have a cam that will work with this block. And it's stock, but that's okay because you know what we can do. We can add some rockers on that dude. And I didn't show it last time, so I'm going to measure the crankshaft this time. And they, they come up to 1 inch, 179 thousandths. Almost, almost 180 thousandths. Good crank. Well, that's all for part one. Uh, we'll get to part two next time. Thanks for hanging out with me. We'll see you next time.